Hello there friends and welcome! In this video I'm going to show you a very simple way of achieving a massive amount of equipment load. I have 415 here for example, so that your character can wear the heaviest of armors, even two massive weapons at the same time, and still retain fast rolling for great movement and defenses. So you combine the best of both worlds, high damage negation from heavy armor, great damage from heavy weapons, and of course your fast dodge rolls. Now getting this is also super simple and it all comes from the Winged Crystal tier, a wondrous physic effect that will highly increase your equipment load whenever you drink it. I know it says temporarily reduces here, but in reality it adds a massive amount of equipment load to your character. Well, equipment load capacity anyways, which is the value to the right. And here's how it works. It pretty much multiplies your current equipment load capacity, I have 77 here, by a massive four and a half times. So we go from 77 to 349. Talk about an overpowered effect. Getting this crystal tier is also super simple. You have to go to the Atlas Plateau region, the same place you have to go for the royal capital during the main story. And all you have to do is head here, where I have my blue marker set, so close to the edge of this cliff. From the starter grace of the region, the Grand Lift of Tectus, all you have to do is head northeast past the outer wall phantom tree and keep going until you reach this place. The closest grace is a hermit merchant's shack, but if you haven't found it yet, then the next one is the outer wall battleground. Both will easily lead you to the tier, you just have to follow the road here and go northeast. So from the outer wall battleground grace, you have to keep going east until you can climb the little cliff over there to the left. So just go up the stairs here and then it is truly just a matter of going northeast. You'll go past some skeletons, and eventually you'll reach some school enemies, and our crystal tier will be at a bow, right here. Pretty simple to get to when you have your horse. And if you're wondering where to get your flask of wonders physics, it is right here at the third church of America to the northeast of the starter area of the game. So whenever you drink your flask, you'll get this huge boost to equipment load that will last 3 entire minutes. It might not seem like much, but trust me it is, 3 minutes is more than enough to defeat bosses. For dungeon crawling too, because the graces tend to be very close to one another, and whenever you rest at the grace, you replenish your flask uses. Not to mention for PvP as well, because the battles are not going to last longer than 3 minutes. And if you're wondering, you can actually access this area even at the very start of the game, without defeating any of the story bosses. You just need the two halves of the Dactus Medallion, one at Fort Hate and the other at Fort Faroff. You even don't have to fight any of the enemies in the forts, you can just skip ahead past them all. Alright everyone, so this was it, I hope you found this useful, after all it's very fun to retain your fast rolling even when you are equipped with the heaviest gear possible. As usual, please remember to support the channel if you can by liking, subscribing and even becoming a member. Thank you for watching and see you next time, friends!